Hey Carp Geeks, this is 2020 me and I'm about to show you a video with 2012 me. So back in the day I was doing research into our original product Biosource and our second generation product Jigsaw. Okay, now both of those have been superseded by our much improved product Impulse, which you may have seen in some of the videos. Okay, so you know, take it for what it's worth, it's a nice piece of history and uh, kind of shows you where it all came from. Okay, take it away. Okay, talk you through the setup here. I've got a medium-sized tank. It's uh, actually in my basement, so the water's on the cool side. In there, there are five koi and one goldfish. What we're going to do is pop in some expander pellets treated with jigsaw on the left, and the same number of baits, but treated with just plain water to act as a control on the right. Coming up on the four minute mark here, we see the fish are starting to gravitate towards the jigsaw treated baits. This is typical, it takes usually between four and five minutes for the stimulant to start to leak out of the bait itself. A couple of words of advice if you want to try this at home. First, turn off your filters, and second, use only the minimal amount of stimulant in your bait. The idea here is that you actually only introduce stimulant around one of the baits and it doesn't fill the tank. If you have a large flow of water or too much stimulant, the fish will just go nuts throughout the whole tank. You're trying to show that one bait's more attractive over the other. We're coming up on the five minute mark now and what we've done is we've zoomed into the left feeder which contains the jigsaw treated baits. The fish are actively searching the gravel. This is entirely due to the presence of the jigsaw stimulant which has seeped into the gravel. This behavior will continue for at least another 20 minutes. So we've reached the 14 minute mark and as we can see the fish, although still browsing around the feeder, are searching with much less intensity. This is typical of a small amount of bait which in turn contains a small amount of stimulant. In a fishing situation where we use larger volumes of bait with larger stimulant loadings, the feeding response is sustained over a much longer period of time. So we're at 20 minutes now and what we're actually going to do is remove both of the feeders and what we actually witness is a very interesting response. If you take a look at the left, what you'll see is the fish still remain in the area. This is because of what I call the tea bag effect. If you think about removing a tea bag from a cup of tea, think of the last remnants of the soak oozing from the tea bag. This is exactly what's happened here. The stimulants actually seeped back into the gravel and the fish have reinitialize their searching behavior and this continues for another eight or so minutes. The obvious question of course is, does this all translate over to a fishing situation? The answer is a resounding yes. As shown by the pie chart, which illustrates results recorded by Sparshot College in the UK, jigsaw baits outfished others by at least a factor of 2 to 1.